All right, welcome to another loner deck. Uh, so, I think I finally made a decision. Uh, in the previous video, I said I wasn't sure which one I was gonna do. And I thought about it a little bit and came to this. Not all the loner deck uh, prizes, gifts, whatever, are really worth it. I mean, like, some of them kind of, but like, if you go to Paroxian Warriors, it's just a card, right? Fusion, this is a rare, easy to craft. Why would you need to complete the loner deck? If you're going for the challenges, I understand. Like the uh, the trophies that they give you uh, for consoles and stuff, but like gladiator beasts, they have this uh, orb of fire, the orbs, which at some point are just gonna pile on. I feel like they're never you're never gonna be able to just like have a, a you'll always have more than you really need. So, I'm going with Karkiri, because at least the two are actually kind of worth it. You get a profile picture, and you get a little mate. So, I've decided if it isn't gems, if it isn't a mate, if it isn't sleeves, or if it isn't a profile picture or even terrain packs, essentially. I will most likely not do it. If it's just orbs, if it's just a card that you can craft, I'm gonna ignore it. Now, if, say, somebody requests the orb loaner deck, I'll consider it. I'll consider going to it and, you know, giving a little advice on it. But for the time being, I'm just going to ignore anything that seems like the loner deck does not matter. You can just do a my deck and just beat it that way with whatever deck you have, because trust me, a lot of these decks might seem good. They're honestly not. They can get easily beaten by whatever deck you make, as long as it's, you know, not too stupid. That I'm using that in a more broad sense stupid meaning like one of every card of every deck like something like that that would be ridiculous but using things like sword soul or um dino morphs whatever it is anyways today we're doing card curry we're gonna get the little mate and we're gonna get the profile picture this is what we're going to be going up against for the first loner deck. Repur Repurpose Karakuri. Okay. This deck combines earth monsters, themed scrap, and Karakuri. So it's going to use uh, a lot of more synchro using the scrap if you have a lot of cards on your field and Karakuri Shogun MD Beret if you want to deploy more monsters. So as a recap for Karakuri, they are basically monsters that when attack they kind of go to defense they kind of just like changing attack and defense and activating effects that way so we got scrap searcher monsters you control except scrap monsters destroyed and sent to the graveyard while this card is in the graveyard you can special summon this card from your graveyard destroy all face-up monsters you control interesting that's actually a very interesting one so obviously they're going to use that if it's empty i guess what I'm assuming. Uh, tuner, we'll see that in our deck. We'll see that in our deck. This, we won't. At the end of the battle phase, okay, good thing I know now. This can't be destroyed by battle, so they'll most likely have this in defense position. Destroy this card. This card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card and sent to the graveyard. You can target one scrap monster in your graveyard. So, If I can, try to destroy it by a non-scrap card. <laughs> I, I think there's a card curry that does that. Let's see what we're getting, okay? Uh, all right, regular, regular. 
Infinitrax. Ooh. A deck that combines card carrier and Infinitrax, which share support earth and machines. That is true. Use different synchro and XEs depending on the combination of monsters. Play field. Powerful monsters with 3,000 attack or higher. This sounds like a very one-sided. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on Infinitrax, but let's let's see how they are. I know Infinitrax are strong. I don't play a lot of machine decks. Most I played was Orcist, and that one was not a beefy one, more of just resourceful. Infinitrax is beefy. Ooh, it's not a bad hand, I don't think. You can send this card from your grave. Okay. Card from your hand in defense position, banish one machine monster. Wait, is this only for card curry? It's on a card curry. Yep. Obviously, just activate this. Uh, select one face up card. Add one level four lower. Deck change. Okay. So let's start with this. We'll summon, activate so we can change. And we will add. When this card is normal, a special summon, select one monster. Nope. Uh, where is isn't there one that can special summon itself? When this card is destroyed by battle. Nope. Uh, guess not. We'll go for this one, I suppose. All right, that's one. Uh, card curry, cash in. Target one card curry monster you control and one effect monster your opponent controls. And if you do negate the effect of the opponent's monster. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Let's keep that. And then target, you can tribute one earth machine, special summon this card from your hand in defense. You can banish. Add one spin turn from your deck to your hand. Let's give this a shot. I want to see what happens. I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to go to automate. Bye. All right, what is spin turn? Target one earth machine XCs you control in attack position. One monster your opponent controls. Monster in target one earth machine XCs monster you control defense. Okay, not too bad. Uh, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one of these monster control, attach this card to it. I suppose that's good. I guess we'll find out. Yikes, that's actually pretty beefy. All right, Synchro is going to get way stronger. Ooh, here we go. Uh, out trigger extension. Your opponent cannot target machine XCs to control with card effects. One per turn. Spin track monster. A machine that is two ranks higher. There we go. Doing that just for the two draws. You can banish this card from a graveyard, target one face up monster on the field, chance No, no, no. Hmm. If this card is in your hand, you can target one card carry monster control, change its battle position. If you do, special summon this card as a tuner. Also, you cannot special. Chef. Okay. Not yet. Okay, so it's a tuner. Oops. 
Uh, and it's a level five. We'll activate that one just cause. For whatever reason, I guess. Yeah, we'll banish this one. It's not strong enough, but let's see what we can do. What is this? this one do? You can attach... Nice. You can attach one material from this card. Take the monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. This card... This is a hard one. I'm gonna do two things. We're gonna use spin turn. Alrighty. Did they destroy that monster? Ha, ah, you fell for it, I guess. Normal special summon. You can add an infinite track monster from your deck to your hand. You can target one of the machine monster you control. This card becomes a combined or right. okay, whatever. Um Yeah, this sounds good. Alright. We'll just summon it here. What is this? You can detach one thousand attack. This card is in your graveyard. Okay. To battle. I'm just kind of learning on the go. I don't know what's going to go on. Yikes. Okay. Nice. Ooh, Karakuri Gamago. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that, but it works. Gamma Oil. I'm gonna go for this, because it's the only one, apparently. Let's say you can attack. Gains 500 attack. Okay. Target one other machine you control. Love both those bind. Okay. Nope. for another one of these. Nope, not yet. 
Uh, I don't... Does it really matter? What, what, what's a good one? Sure, we'll vote for this one. I'm gonna put this in defense. Wow, that actually wasn't too hard. <laughs> I'm not fully sure what I was doing. I just kind of did things and it worked. So this one's not too hard to do. Uh, it shouldn't give anybody too much trouble. Heck, I didn't even know what I was doing half the time. I, I, there were some of the cards I didn't even fully read. I just kind of looked at them like, eh. <laughs> All right, so this is essentially what I understood from it. Your main go-to is to try to get a car, not a car curry gamma oil. Where is it? Where did it, where did it, where did it go? Out trigger extension. Yes, this one. If you can get out trigger extension, top notch right there. I think you got the win. Uh, but. Honestly, spin turn is a really good one that you need to get. Uh, infinite track harvester is not the one that did it. Not the one that did it. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Drag shovel. Freaking fantastic. Just normal summon any card, Curry. Tribute it. Get a card. Uh, what I did with the car curry anatomy, probably not the best idea. I waited too long and I only did that so I could get two cards out of it. I prefer not getting a use one card to get one card type of thing. I like the idea of getting two cards, but it worked. You don't have to go into any of these. These are all optional. I think the XC's Infinitrax are just way stronger. Uh, I never got into the level 9, though. I don't know what that does. I know more material from this card. I've been talking that many cards. I'm not sure that was a card. I don't think this one's very important. Because let's see what traps they have. If I'm correct, nothing too powerful. Yeah, that's not fun. That's fine. Chains of Battle is a monster. It doesn't matter if you destroy them with spin turn. Trick house, battle position of face up, doesn't matter. Yeah, this one's going to be used before you attack anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, you don't have to worry about traps in this deck, it's fine. I mean, like, during your turn when you're attacking, you don't have to worry. <gasps> Ooh! I'm uh, definitely... Okay, I think I know what that one is. Okay, uh, so this one is going Car Curry Earth and Machine type super defensive robots combining Car Curry Synchro Monsters and super defense robots. Is that really what they're called? Our curry super defense robots. Yeah, that's what they're called. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon their super defense. Uh, Orbital 7. Oh. Ah, it's gonna be one of those type of decks. There, gotcha. Oh, oh, ew, ooh. That's not cool. Why would you give them a banned card? You updated this whole thing. Now, this is what I'm excited about. <laughs> okay, so I attempted this a long time ago, trying to make card curry ninjas, but in the end, I just made ninjas. It was okay when I first tried it, but I know what to do with this one. Wait, is... <sighs> oh, okay, good, good, good. I was worried they didn't have Hidden Village of Ninjutsu. So, yeah, do they have everything that I need? Nope, they don't have everything I need. It's fine, we'll adapt. It's okay. So, one of the things that would have been... Re oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot I completed this already. One of the things I needed was, uh... It's like ninjutsu arts. It's a continuous spell that allows you to discard a card to add a ninjutsu art to your hand or something like that. And then you use, uh... Sanzo to destroy it and I think it was draw a card I don't fully remember but all right so only thing I can really do is normal summon 
Add to hand. Hidden village. Activate. Enter. Raigeki is going to be really helpful for this. Yikes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lithosadium. Yeah, no kidding. Raigeki is going to really help. What? If this card is destroyed while it has XC material, then banish one super from your graveyard for some of this card. Ah, so you're a bitch. All right. <laughs> yes, please. Since it's a ninja, I get to add you back to hand. Why, thank you. And if this card is in your hand, you can target one character and monster change this battle position. And if you do special summon this card as a tuner. And we'll go ahead and do that. Change position. Ooh, look at that. Big, big, big dude. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's 3,000 like yourself, Mr. Dongo. Bongo, I don't know what your name is. This card is synchro summon. You can press summon card carry monster from your deck. Monster you control in the defense position cannot be destroyed by the battle once per turn. If the battle position of a face up card carry monster you control is changed, target one card your opponent controls. Banish it. Heck yeah. Uh, do I have. Um, gotta remember this. Nope, I do not. Okay, so. Pack it. Change it to defense position. This face up attack position is selected as an attack target. Change it to defense position. When this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We're just gonna send him in a face up position. Curry curry oil. And battle. Oh, uh, it's making me attack. Wait, you had another super robot? Don't screw yourself. Seriously, what the hell? I thought that was your last one. I messed up. That was my bad. I thought he didn't have any more. I thought it was just Car Curry. Ooh, yellow ninja. Very nice. Arts of Transformation. Mm. Nice. Cache. Select one face of card rate. Add a level four. From your deck to your hand. Wait, which one's the one that special summons? When this card is flipped? Nope. Oh, it can attack your opponent directly. That's actually pretty nice. Okay. Saizo, take me away.
set and then cash in. Not the worst, but I don't have any defense I have to worry about if I remember. Yep. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so merchant, this card must attack a fable. Change its defense when this card is normal. Add a card, carry card for me. Okay, that's only if it's normal though. I'm gonna activate this and then activate this. And then summon. Or wait, no, that's add to hand. Whoopsies. Nope, don't need it. Nope, don't need that. Not yet, anyways. Can't activate that just yet. We could get another Sizo, but there is no point. What he has in Grave is not important either. Nope, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, so basically, this isn't a really bad deck. It's actually pretty decent, considering what the majority of what ninjas want. Are you? Oh, you, you sneaky, you sneaky. Majority of what ninjas want to do is uh, use their ninjutsus, but they will swarm the field, especially with yellow ninja. Uh, Hanzo is definitely best ninja, because he special summons ninjas and adds to hand ninjutsus but really it's not that hard to beat this deck too much uh you shouldn't have to play it like 17 times to win but let's see um let's wait this out oh okay what negate the effects of monster until the turn Let's just card from your graveyard, then target one face of monster. Okay. I mean, either way, he's gonna kill it. And since it is a ninja. He basically gave me everything I needed. Super transformation really helps. Uh, let's see, once per turn, you can send one ninja monster and one ninja to card from your hand and or face up on the field. Two spell or traps, destroy them. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Or... I got one face up monster your opponent controls. Now, nah, let's go with can't be destroyed by card effects. a hand uh don't need it he has yet to use his monsters so the reason i'm not using it right now is because the cards he has is not really good compared to what i have and that's my third yellow ninja wow okay with field then like this nope almost almost activated you, you almost got me we're just gonna go with a four there we go there we go Face up attack. The reason why we're doing this is because this is going to be game. As long as it's not like a trap that he has. Other than that, 
I'm surprised I don't, he didn't put duplication in here. This is still going to be a good card to go for. Activate. Let's take this one out. Give him double attack. Nope, don't need that. And let's battle. 22. 27. 54. Yes! Honestly, this one shouldn't be too hard to beat. Uh, this one is fairly simple as long as you know what ninjas do. They're not a difficult deck to understand. I might actually make this in physical form again, because... Uh, I might not add this, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'll have to relook at a... You know, check up some stuff. I might not add this. There's some things I can do. But essentially, your main focus will actually be on the ninjas rather than, well, uh, basically the regular ninjas rather than just card curry. Card curry ninjas are nice, but the regular ninjas really buff them up quite some more. Uh, definitely go for the Shogun uh, Samurais whenever possible because they out of everything they are probably the ones that will dominate the most yeah this is definitely the one you'll want to go for to be able to just special summon by sending something in defense mode and then immediately go for where is he this dude for sure he's definitely a good one but uh if not i think this one's okay yeah this one's eh. but you always want to go for field spell first if once you go for Saizo, this one. This one you won't really go into that much. He's good, but the chances of him being too useful isn't too much because you kind of want to just rush him. Just get a lot on the field if possible. And Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation, fantastic. Use your opponent's stuff, you use your stuff, great. And the fact that this was also on the field <laughs> just helps so much but other than that that's uh that's gonna be today's uh, thing it was actually a lot quicker than the previous one but it's expected card curry aren't really that hard to understand it's just getting used to their effects a little bit and that's kind of like every deck every deck you just got to get used to how they play and what they're doing. But other than that, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments on what loner decks you would like me to try out next, just uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video or find it very helpful. Also comment any suggestions that you might have regarding learning the decks or like beating some of it because sometimes even i don't fully understand or maybe i'll give slight misinformation it's hard to really tell especially if no one's like saying whether some of the things i say is wrong but honestly as far as what i'm understanding or from some of the decks that i have played except for one uh the information that I provide is, as much as my knowledge, pretty decent. If you disagree, leave a comment. Just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day, night, evening. Either one's fine.